medical support. From your case, I see you have a long-term gas perm patient who's struggling with comfort in her new lenses, and you're struggling a little bit with getting clarity in the bifocal. So if we talk about a couple things, let's first talk about the fit of the lenses. When I looked at your designs here, I actually like your designs overall when we look at this right eye, and we'll compare it here to the left eye. Um, I think I like how these are set up. I think you did a nice job aligning these lenses. And I notice you used tangential design in the right eye versus axial on the left. And I know we're all kind of taught to use axial, but if you recall, axial does a pretty good job of aligning that lens centrally. It looks at that data uh, quite accurately centrally, but has a little more difficulty in the outer parts of the cornea. And I tend to find quite often if I've got patients who are having some comfort issue with their lenses or lens awareness, they tend to do better in the tangential design because I think you get a better chance of um, aligning this landing zone, this be area between the, black or the blue and the purple ball, a little bit more precisely with the cornea. So I think you get a, better, a little nicer fit personally with the tangential design. And I would um, guess that that is probably one of the reasons why this right lens tends to be more comfortable than left lens. So the first thing I look, uh, would look at maybe considering changing that left lens to a tangential design. I did a quick mock-up here and I just uh, adjusted these uh, OZs in the back surface and I went to tangential, lined it up. I even uh, played around a little bit with putting a little aspericity on the back surface of that lens. But now we've got a lens that pretty nicely lines up on the back surface. And I would think that that tangential design in the left eye would probably give you a little bit extra comfort. Let's talk next about the power of these lenses. Um, as you know, with a tangent streak lens, you get that nice line right across there. And it sounds like your patient was struggling with some double vision of those lenses. And of course, that's most likely getting from the bisecting the pupil here. Um, and of course, with this patient's demand or need for a plus three add, that's quite a bit of add to pull out of any of these uh, multifocal lenses. And one of the drawbacks we have going to the particular design that you chose, um, if you recall, you went to a center distance lens. And that's usually the uh, primary lens that we use for wave. But if you recall, that lens is basically spherical through the central part and then it progresses as you get further out here to this area. If you look at those power changes you'll see that it's pretty much about the same into the central part of the cornea and then it slowly progresses out into power. So really to achieve a plus three add you're, only gonna, you're not going to get it until you get further out here in the lens and realistically these lenses probably aren't going to bump up high enough. That's probably accounting for why there's still a need for add. Uh, that may also be why the uh, tangent streak almost um, I guess the tangent streak probably gave a little bit better acuity up close in these lenses. So the question is how do we fix that? Uh, that's a difficult one if you're going from tangent streak to a centered distance lens. Uh, you may run into a few issues of achieving that um, success with those lenses. One thing you can try is to take the non-dominant eye and really maximize the plus on these lenses as much as you can get away with and maybe even go for more of an intermediate uh, power on the non-dominant eye if that's helpful. If that's not possible uh, there's two other options for you. Uh, one thing that uh, some wave uh, fitters have found successful, and I've had I've had some mixed results with it, uh, is actually switching over to a center near design. So if we look at that, uh, let's first look at this center distance uh, design. And if we switch the format to center near, you'll see that now we put the pupil, the bifocal right in the middle. And that may work on that non-dominant eye. You might be able to go to a little lesser add because you're putting it right in the center. And then hopefully when the pupil's larger, you're uh, getting a little more distance area to offset some of that distortion. Uh, it wasn't quite clear from your request whether or not the patient's double vision was at nighttime with a larger pupil or not, but uh, but you might want to keep that in mind. If you you know we're all kind of afraid to fit these lenses in the gas permeable designs, but if you recall, most of the most successful soft center near lenses uh, on the market are like the Air Optics, and so uh, I would be, look carefully at that one. The other possibility with this, and, and I've had a little less experience with the segmented, but if we go to segmented design, you'll notice that it puts a crescent segment in here. So what this does, it, it gives you sort of a translating lens where you get a little bifocal segment down here in the lower section. It's almost like a crescent down here. And the whole upper area, if you look at the power effect in that upper area, if you watch that, that whole lens is basically a minus lens on the top. So you have distance on the top you put a little bit in the bottom. So if you like the concept of a tangent streak, this may give you a little bit uh, of an option to pursue that. And so that might be one way to address with some of that uh, doubling. Don't forget if we go back here uh, in that center 
distance design, the traditional design, basically any time the pupil gets larger than that optical zone, you're going to get some distortion of that image. So uh, you may be writing a few limitations with that. So to sum summarize things, I would probably first adjust that left lens, turn it, in, turn it into tangential design, uh, look and see if we can maximize the plus at all on these lenses. And then if, uh, if not, maybe consider trying a near near center lens or even a segmented lens of this patient. Uh, my guess is you're going to probably have to do a little of experimenting around with this and maybe a couple of redesigns to try to get a little bit better success with the lenses. Uh, with that, I wish you well with this uh, challenging case and have a great day.